All right, so with this one, very minimalistic uh, palette, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of blue. So I'm going to use some Dairy Live uh, yellow. I will also use a little bit of Hansa yellow. You should be familiar with some of these colors already. And then a little bit of Cadmium Red, it's medium. Got to have a little bit of white in there. Uh, some Ultramarine Blue. Actually, I'm going to change that to Cobalt Blue. All right, throw some Cobalt there. And really, that's about all the colors we're going to need because we can mix our greens here. And I want to do this you know, super fun and loose, of course. And it's uh, going to be a square layout. I'm not sure if I said that. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, get our layout in there. So real pale blue, a little red here. And I'm totally not on the page. There we go. We're on the screen. So something like that. And we know we'll have maybe a wall coming in like this or an edge, a tabletop or something. Very plain, we're not going to have a lot of contrast uh, with the background and the foreground here. And then maybe a little small picture there. Leaves. So it's sort of a, a the design of the flowers is basically like this. Okay, so we have almost an arrow pointing down. I always look for stuff like that, you know, trying to see uh, more uh, than what's there, you know, see it, try to see it in a different way. So something like that. So you see that arrow pointing down. I'd like to put a little blue bowl in this one. So I'm going to drop the blue bowl uh, maybe in here. It's going to have a design on it. So I can sort of just make just some marks like that. And they'll put a little blue inside of that bowl. So our bowl's already done. And maybe a bottom to that bowl like that. I'll get some of that blue off the brush. I'll go into my white here. And I'll do a white vase or pitcher or whatever this is. I'm going to do something white here as well. Like a really small uh, pitcher like this little handle and then a very pale this is uh, dairy lied yellow uh, mixed with white I'm gonna do a touch of red into that uh, just to sort of mute that yellow and maybe one more little object um, kind of over and here kind of maybe like another little vase or something so kind of more of a still life but again this is kind of along the theme of kind of floral arrangements so kind of letting that be the star and now I'll get some dairy lied a little yellow more dairy lied touch of red and maybe I'll start with things that are a little bit darker here and I've got my arrow here so I'm just going to uh, make some flowers here in a very quick splashy splash way and now I'll take the light yellow or the Hansa yellow add a little bit of white into that and we'll maybe I'll sort of keep keep it like that. I think that's really all we need for now. We can see how it progresses um, to see if we need more. And I'll clean my brush. And at this point, I think we need to start thinking about the background. So the background, lots of grays. So ultramarine, I'll pull some of these yellows into it. So that will be more of a warm gray. So maybe uh, I can start with that color over in here. And I'll make that real skinny like that. The 
again, we have another picture in here. I'm just doing some negative space painting now. And at this point, you know, we're not looking uh, for details. Uh, you don't want to get fussy with things. Uh, you just keep it uh, super simple here. So now I'm putting some reds into this and keeping that background interesting by infusing warm grays, cool grays, and maybe towards the edge over here. Uh, we can kind of do more of a blue gray. And maybe add a little bit of red into it or yellow just to sort of gray it out a little bit more. Let me add actually a little bit of um, kind of that cool gray to this tabletop for a second here. Just want to start to feel this out here as well. Just start to get a visual of how everything is kind of relating to each other. And maybe a little bit on the light value side here um, as we get around our flowers just so we get really good contrast. And back into our blues. Touch of red, maybe a little more blue. And I'll pull some of that, those blues and stuff. Maybe a little bit darker foreground there. And keep it loose people keep it loose okay and we don't want to blend it to death you see how choppy everything looks well, let me get that in more of an angle for you so you can get off the glare all right so hopefully that's a little bit better so again uh, the boards at an angle now okay so I've got this down got a hard gator board there but everything else is still pretty much the same. And I'll just do a little bit more work here, uh, just adding some strokes to keep these, keep that background kind of interesting. Because once I leave it, I don't really think I want to come back to it. So I think that'll work pretty good. And now I want to add another layer uh, to the flowers. So I'll go in with the dairy line, get the same colors, maybe a little bit of red over here. And maybe the flowers that are on the right side over here, uh, maybe some of these have a little more of that reddish look to them. And maybe one right in there. And a lot of those flowers will disappear once we start adding the foliage and the green and whatnot in there. All right, so now dairy lied, white, and kind of adding a few more little pops here. And now we'll go Hansa yellow mainly with whatever's on my brush and a little more white. And we'll sort of do this. Now I'm losing my V, my arrow. So I'll have to get that back. So I'm going to take that yellow into these grays. Throw a little blue in there. And then we'll get some white. Uh, 
So all, all of this is pretty good in here. I just I think I need a little more of that background color there. So now we're starting to feel that uh, V a little bit better. And it's not a big deal. I probably shouldn't fuss about that too much, but I kind of like the way that was working. It's getting a little chunky in there. So I'll take some just scrap paper here, press, and then pull it across the paper. And that will just kind of blend it a little bit and smooth it out. So I could have maybe done it with a brush, but I just like working with different materials. I think what I'll do now is just get into some greens, cobalt. I've already got some yellows here. And I may have had a little bit too much gray still on my brush, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm not sure that's going to be green enough. I'll start with that. Um, so I'll do you know, some greens in here. And maybe a big chunk in here. And maybe a little stem or something floating in here. Again, real subtle and how I'm trying to uh, represent everything. So that's pretty good. So I'll take a dryer to it. Um, it's still you know, wet in quite a few places. And if you've been around acrylic painting long enough, you know it dries darker. So I want to get a, a better uh, visual of how these colors are going to look when it's dry. So when it's dry, I'll come back and add the next layer. OK, so I think it's working pretty good. Um, I think also, while I dried it, I decided to introduce another color I haven't used yet in this class, and that is phthalo green. Uh, this is a blue shade. Uh, very. Uh, this is this color is opaque, but as you probably know, um, there's always a level of transparent quality to this stuff. So I'm going to mix, and phthalo is a very intense color, as you can see. So I'll take some of, like a little bit of red. Okay, that's cadmium red. Uh, maybe a touch of these yellows and go into that. Maybe a little Hansa yellow, just to lighten it a smidge. But I really wanted that punch of green. I didn't really feel like I was getting it uh, with what I had. Um, so let's do this, and I think that'll give me uh, what I'm after here. So again, you know, some little light branches in here, and something like that. I think will work good. Also, using a small brush there for that little bit of detail work. So while all of this green is drying, I'm going to bounce over here. I'm going to start adding some grays uh, to the vase. Again, I've got this palette over here. I'm, I've got grays already mixed and I'm just um, moving that gray around in different places, adding a little red there. Um, just so we get nice variety there. I can sprinkle some of those grays uh, in the background too. So it's a little unclear if that bowl was in front of this or if it's off to the side. So I'm going to take my blue here, put it on the palette. And I'm going to make that bowl a little bit bigger.
So it appears to be more in front of the vase or the pot, whatever we want to call that. And now we have the white vase there. So again, grabbing some of these grays and maybe I can add a little detail there where we can kind of see into that. And that's pretty good. I don't think we need much more than that, but I'll add a little bit of white to the palette here and just kind of go into these yellows and add just another layer maybe to that. I have a little liner brush there, signature brush sort of thing. So we can get these a little bit smaller strokes and I think I'll add a little something to the bowl here. Uh, just some details, a little design maybe. Might be kind of interesting to look at there. I think this one's not really important, but uh, just for giggles, maybe I'll make it a little bit rounder, something like that. All right, let's go back into these grays. Maybe a touch of red just to make it a little bit darker. Probably too much red. So I'll find some blue on my palette there. Do a little pocket of dark gray here. I'll go a little bit darker on this gray. And I've still got um, some white on this brush. And now we'll go a little bit paler. So now, and I guess by paler, I mean, we're gonna take some lighter values and splash around towards the center here. Uh, maybe even some light blue would look good. So I'll get Really pale, light blue here. And we can pull that color down in here. Slightly bigger brush now. Carving out a few details. of a red gray in here. Now I'll kind of a little bit of water on my finger and I'll sort of touch into some of these strokes there. Same thing, sort of just smoothing things out a little bit. And we're going to revisit our little star of the show here. Again, just dots, right? So all we're doing is just kind of putting the brush down and letting it go. We're not trying to paint flowers, we're just trying to indicate flowers. I think we pretty much have our little arrow design. It's not too bad. Take some of these grays on my small brush again and maybe make a little pocket there. And there are 
grays. Phalo, a little Dairy Lodge into that, maybe a little red, and let's just get a few more green marks there. I'll make this a little bit shorter so I'm going to lose some of those flowers there. And then take my tip of the brush and just sort of draw a few details here. Scratch into some of this paint. Go with some blue grays, some cool grays here. I really liked how that blue was working in there. I kind of lost it, but I can get it back. A little pop of white on our base here. Do our little handle. Lost our handle too. And maybe just some of that blue gray coming down from the top there. A little bit of yellow into this. Kind of liked how those darks were working over this. So I think that works pretty good. I think I'll just use a light gray here to sign it. So still a little bit of a glare for you guys, but I'll put the final image up on the screen right now. Hope you enjoyed it.